Hey, it's Lorraine here from the Digital Explorer. Today, I'm going to be running through a video creation software called Animaker. I'll show you some of the advanced features within the platform. I'll share with you my pros and cons of the software and whether I believe it is beginner friendly. Also, we'll discuss whether the support is any good and the different pricing structures of Animaker and whether I think it's worth the money or not. But before we dive straight into this, if you're interested in starting a long-term sustainable business, click the link below. There is free training that will walk you from A to Z on how to start an affiliate marketing business the right way. All right, guys, so we're on the homepage of Animaker. And like any standard sales page, it goes through the features and highlights the benefits of using Animaker. It has a simple drag and drop builder. Uh, It has character builders and you can use videos and photos within your videos. It says we can create your videos in just five minutes. This may not be the case if you're starting a video from scratch, but using one of the templates, yes, it would be achievable within five minutes. Now, one point I want to make here is doodle videos. In the product description, we have whiteboard video maker. When I'm in the software, I have searched multiple keywords, but I cannot find a video template for whiteboards. It may be there, but I cannot find it. Now, in the dashboard of Animaker, it's laid out pretty simply. You have the option to customize the size of the video you want, depending on where you are posting it. Also, you can decide based on what style video you want. So if you want a cartoon video, video ad, social media, and the list goes on. If you're looking for a pre-made template, it is fairly easy to go ahead and pick whichever one you want. And what we have up here are additional apps within Animaker you can use, such as the Animaker Voice, which is in beta at the minute. Then you have GIF Makers. You can customize these GIFs and share them on your Facebook or social media posts. And that's a free app within Animaker. And then we have Thumbnail Maker. I have logged in and I tested this out and it works great. However, when I go to download the actual thumbnail, the system won't let me download it. It's in beta at the minute and there may be just a few glitches, but if it worked and it downloaded okay, they've got some great templates you can use for your thumbnails and you can change the background, the properties, the text. And the other feature we can look at here is the character builder. You can customize your own character, whether it be a male or female, and you literally can change every aspect of your character from the skin tone to the hair, face shape, eyes, eyebrows, nose, lips, ears. You can even have them wear a watch. So I like this feature, it's really, really good. Now let's test out the features of the video. We'll go ahead and pick a pre-made template and then I'm going to add a couple of extra pages to show you the advanced features within Animaker. So for this example, I'm going to select YouTube and you have the option there to select a blank one, but we'll go ahead and select this one right here. It takes a minute to load up. And now we're inside the editing area of the video. Here is where you can change the name of your video. You got the option of full or light. The full version is where you can use the advanced features within Animaker. So this is where we'll make all the changes. So let's have a listen to the pre-made video we've just selected. Okay, so that's our video. We have the scenes this side. We've 10 slides and each of these are customizable. On the left hand side, we have an option here for additional pre-made videos with numerous slides within them. Now you can choose either one of these slides to add to your video or you can select them all. And next up right here is we have the characters. You will see the ones you have to upgrade for have a yellow star next to them and you cannot use them ones but there are plenty of free ones you can use. And then we have different elements you can add to your videos, such as shapes. You have office equipment, emojis, stickers, furniture, technology, finance, lines and graphs, food, festive and party, school, 
home and the list goes on and on. So you have loads of elements you can choose from. Some are free and some are not, but you are clearly shown which ones you need to upgrade for. Then the next section we have is text. You can add text to your video, even the pre-made ones, you can add additional text or you can use animated text. I really like this feature right here. What I do find with the software when I'm making amendments, it can be a bit glitchy. It doesn't seem to move things the way I want them to or it's not clicking into the box correctly, but it does eventually work, but it can be a bit of a pain when trying to edit the video. Next up here we have is the backgrounds. You can change from office. You can change how it enters and you've got photo backgrounds. You've got video backgrounds, gradients, business. And again, the list goes on. You have loads to choose from. Some are free and some are paid. And then next up, you have images you can add to your videos. And here are additional videos you can use. But as you can see, they are $5 per use. So if you want to use any of these, they will cost extra. Then we have the music section. And it's broken down into the different types of music you might want to use, whether it be motivational, for explainer videos with voice or without voice, promos and ads for the cartoons, for instructional, travel, presentations. They have loads and loads and loads to choose from. And again, depending on the price plan will depend on which ones you will get to use. But for this demo, we will concentrate on the free versions. I'll show you a few examples you can use. So there are a list of the free ones you can use. And then the next section we have our special effects. These options are brilliant for enhancing your videos. So you can have breaking glass, for example. Some of these are really good. We have this one right here. And then you have an emoji one and the emojis go across the screen. So there's lots of different animated special effects you can use on your videos, even on the free plan, which is pretty good. And then down here, we have an option to upload your voice. Now back in the dashboard where we have the additional apps, the Animaker voice. Okay, so I have some text written out right here just to demonstrate how it works. You can choose whether you want a male or female voice. You have an option for any different language you want. And there's a huge list of languages you can choose from. And then you have the different voices you can choose from. Let's take a listen to Sally. I select the auto enhance and then we will preview. Hi, my name is Sophie. I am showing you how the voice feature works on Animaker. Do you want to see how this works for your videos? It's as easy as one, two, three. Now that's one way you can create your auto voice and then you can download it and use it then within your video. Now back in the editing area, down here is where we have the timeline. This section right here is where all the elements is controlled. And this right here shows the whole series of clips plus the music that's included within the video. And then this section, you can adjust how the clips is shown and also how you can zoom in and out to make your videos pop a bit more. Now, do I think that the editing structure right here is beginner friendly? Not really. Unless you've used editing software before, you may find it quite tricky to navigate how this is all done. So if I want to delete these examples I just put in, I have to go down right here and select delete and repeat that process until they're all gone. Okay, so we're back to what we originally started with. Another feature within Animaker, they have a lip sync feature and you'll be able to have your character's lips move when the auto voice feature is running within the clip. So let's do that right here. We click on the character and right here under the microphone, you have a choice to either record your own voice. You can use the text to speech or you can upload your voice just like I showed you in the previous example of the voiceover. So what we'll do is we can do it from here and I'm going to type in hello there and it's already preset as male, US English and Matthew and we'll sync it. 
and we can preview it. Hello there. And then on the next scene, you can change the text and then add the voiceover for whatever the text says within the screen. This is an easier way for beginners to use Animaker rather than starting from scratch. And we'll just do one more right here. Is your online content not working as well as you would expect? And you can keep going through the clips just like that. Now at the very end, what we can do is we can add an additional clip and we'll customize this one as if you were doing your video from scratch, just to show you the additional features they have to offer. Now right here, we can select a character. We'll select this guy right here. You can increase the size so that he's closer to the screen. Now they have a feature here called Smart Move and you can make them do different actions in the video clip. So you can make them go from left to right, square, you have to upgrade for this one, make a U-turn, and this can be for any object or element. It doesn't have to be a character. So if we want this guy to go from left to right, it gives you a preview right there of what will happen. So for the first one, we want him to talk for a second, and then we can add an additional action by clicking this one right here and adding plus. Now this time we want him to cross his hands and we select apply. And you can see down here in the timeline, you have to move him to whatever section or time you want him to cross his arm and you apply. And we select plus and we want running this time. And we want him to run off the screen and we have to slide him over here after that, what we do is we press OK, apply, and we can preview it. OK, so we need to change something there. It does take trial and error and practice, but I believe for a beginner, this would not be the easiest feature to try and use. I'm just going to pause the video quickly and try and get this guy to do what I want him to do and I'll be back to you in a minute. Okay, I'm back. So it took me a couple of minutes to figure out what went wrong. I needed to add an additional character within the frame for him to work. So I'll preview it right here. <laughs> So he went from talking to crossing his hands to running off the screen. That took four actions and they're all spaced out right here like this. Like I say, it takes practice, it's trial and error, but it can work really well if you know how to navigate it properly. There is training and there are two videos right here explaining how you can do animated videos and also the live action videos. And also it shows you how to use the additional features these video clips are quite short. Could they be longer? Yes, they could because I've gone through them and you still need to try and figure out a few more things. So it doesn't really go into as much detail as I would like. The second section right here, you can amend the volume of the music within the track, you can reduce the sound so that you can hear the voiceover if you choose to have one. And also here you can zoom in and out. You can have static camera or dynamic camera. So there's loads of things you can do within Animaker to make your videos more unique. But there is a learning curve involved when using this because it's not as straightforward as it looks. Next, I want to just talk about the support. I sent a generic email to Animaker asking a customer support question. And I got an answer within half an hour of asking the question in the email. So when it comes to support, it's a really good sign that they are responding very quickly to your questions. Plus they have been around since 2014 is when they launched Animaker and they seem to be improving their features over time. Okay, my overall synopsis of Animaker. The list of pros are, there is a great selection of pre-made build templates that you can use and easily customize and have your videos done in a matter of minutes. You can make your own customized characters depending on the plan. I really like the lip sync feature of the characters because it makes the voiceover more realistic. 
and the text-to-speech and voiceover features are a great added benefit to have on your videos. You have more option of what types of videos you can choose from, whether it be cartoon or based on images. The animated font and the special effects and zoom features are great ways to customize your videos whatever way you want. And the support seems to be good and the company is well established. So it's a good sign that if you're having issues or you're having technical problems, you can reach out and they're more than likely going to get back to you. Now to quickly run through the pricing plan, they have four different options. The lowest being the basic at $10 per month. If you're on the yearly plan, monthly it's $20 per month. Then you have the starter, pro and enterprise. And you have to try and decide, well, which one is it that I need? How many videos do I need? Because based on the plan, will determine how many downloads you get to have per month, how many gifts you get to download per month. And also, if you want to have extra videos, you're going to have to pay per download after your limit. And then we have features down here, such as commercial rights, license to resell, the size of your file uploads, and all that kind of thing. So depending on whether you want to have only maybe three videos per month, then the basic plan will be okay. But this is all good if you know exactly what you're planning on doing, how many videos per month you want. So that brings me on to the cons, which is the pricing structure. The training is there and it's okay, but when it comes to the advanced features and to try and customize your videos with the advanced features, I think there could be more training included. The editing within Animaker is not really beginner friendly. In order to edit your videos, there are a lot of different elements in place that you have to have right to make your videos look good. So this takes up a lot of time in creating your videos from scratch. And also I've noticed that it can be a little bit glitchy at times. And then lastly, the advanced features are not easy to use. And finally, my thoughts on whether Animaker is worth the money. It is worth the money for anyone looking for a wide range of video styles. It's ideal for anyone who is comfortable with editing videos to make use of the advanced features of the software. If you have no idea how to use the advanced features, I believe there is alternative softwares that are easier and faster to use. So at the end of the day, it depends on what your goal is with your videos. So overall, 8 out of 10. So that's the end of my review. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for future videos just like this. And I'll catch you on the next one.